the lead, control the streets. Your big homie and them heard of me. You bitches ain't gon' fuck with three. Service shit look burgundy. I went up on my currency and currently my phone don't, don't disturb. I'm somewhere working, G. Standing in the trap with some expensive jeans and icy whites. Ten of four and six and eight, no ball whenever I'm shooting the dice. Niggas know about 30 from the going. They know I rep the spice. I brought that gangsta shit back to the leaf and I gave the section life. Real niggas come first. Ain't no denying it or disputing that. Can't nobody fuck with me on this mic and that's a proven fact. Speaking up on trial shit like they had something to do with that. And I started off with Sonny Jr., Steve O.D., and Luda Mac. Where was niggas at when we was putting in work and spinning blocks? You ain't even on no drill business if you ain't been in that car with rock. I'm working. I got shit put up in keys to two, three different spots. I went up on my feature prices because they know I'm finna pop. Shade them extras off the top. Initiate that member pot. Activate your bitch and send her somewhere on that paper rock. She gon' bring it back and pull up on me with that same amount. And she gon' keep in touch with me because she know what this gang about. Niggas doing these drive-bys, I swear they on some gangsta shit It's level to this shit when putting in work, you ain't no gangsta bitch Niggas all in the section in the city know we stankin' shit I'll hell the folks to walk you down and clip you with that hanger, bitch Dangerous shit, clean up all them shells with dirty handkerchiefs Gave that bitch the dick again cause she say it's spontaneous I don't get all involved with all them feelings and them relationships I'd rather put you on some game and teach you about these paper chips Don't play with him, he ain't one of them dudes you get entangled with Niggas can't even pull up in the slums, this shit endangered me Kevo just extended that new Glock and got the laser chip And then it's just a minute since society ain't no saving him I'm gangin' him, turn that crazy bull, I got the gang in here Better not be no silly boy, you know we got them things in here I play for keys with Brody, spoke the truth when he say play to win A couple more deposits, gotta slide back to the bank again A lot of y'all don't know about the Black Panther Brigade, but it was a whole tank battalion in World War II. General Patton said, if anybody going to save America, that it's going to be this group of Panthers right here. That was World War II. That group of Panthers was primarily composed of Mississippians, but they was all from the southern regions, blood, blood ties wise. They all come from the south. Most of them went back to the south. Before we had a Black Panther Party for self-defense in um, California, we had a Black Panther political party out of Mississippi and they wasn't buying the bullshit. So Geronimo Pratt, E. Jagger, that's the Geronimo that they be talking about in the books, that was him. He's a strategist on the land, a military strategist, and they put him in their military and let him see their strategies and how they was worked from the inside. He was able to feed this information into the California branch of the Black Panther Party to start telling us that we need to research and study guerrilla warfare. So now Mutula, the East Coast branches of Panthers, is still getting wind of what's taking place in California. We at war with these motherfuckers. We at war with these motherfuckers. We ain't never not been at war with these motherfuckers. We was on what you call a ceasefire. We had a conjure war to fight. We had, we had spiritual warfare to tend to that would make this shit down here be easy as fuck to overcome. So the spiritual warfare game, we call it on earth a conjure war. It was a galactic chess game between the Amun, the unknown, the hidden ones, gods, and uh, the Aten gods who they concealed in order for us to see if we would be able to recognize each other. In the war of the priests, the Amun priests versus the Aten priests, it's the same fucking war. The shit never stopped. So while they was fighting World War II, we was collecting intel on how they was overthrown 
in Europe and sent over here in the first goddamn place. Now, mind you, we already invited half of Europe over here because they was using pale faces to block the institutions so we couldn't get the information. When they did that, we don't have no choice but to overrun the institutions with what we call friendly faces that is going to put the shit in the public domain. That is going to put the shit in the public domain. So now you got Manly P. Hall, you got Aleister Crowley, you putting it all in the public domain. So now we understand what we up against. But even the Scottish Rite put it in the public domain and mean in morals and dogma. Like the Rothschild family and the Rockefellers family when they was talking about um, putting us under the pressure. The pressure busts a pipe, but it won't break me. The pressure busts a pipe, but it won't break me. I'm just going to turn into a motherfucking diamond and boss up on your ass. So, they playing three card money with the shit. We ain't supposed to figure it out. See, they was replacing these motherfuckers with the people that was doing the dirt as the hero. They was replacing the hero with or erasing them, whitewashing the history. Classic Anunnaki war tactic, could call it defacing the gods. Shoot the nose off the sphinx and see if who she is then. But they ain't all knowing, they not, they can just only do what they can do. So when the chiefs put this shit together on the land, we can't trust anybody that run for an election because we get sold out. We can't trust anybody that run for an election because we get sold out every single time, not sometimes. So we already know we can't trust no political figures because we always get sold out. So we got anything we do with a political figure to try to reclaim the land, we have to find a way, a plan B in case they don't do their job. A plan B in case they don't do their job. In case they fall off, we can't get our shit back. We ain't gonna never be in the position where we can't get our shit back. I don't care who make the rules. When they call me to fix the problem, I'm gonna fix the problem. So, here, yeah, because if you don't know the purpose of the uh, moves of the master, then you can never understand the motive of the mission. It's obvious that we've been usurped. That's obvious that we've been usurped. That's not a secret. It's obvious that we have an occupied um, force on the land. That's not a secret. Because they make you do what they want you to do. And that's not autonomy. So we got an outside force on the land. Now, watch this. The entire land mass that they were supposed to control was a 10 square mile patch of land off the waterway in Washington, D.C. Ain't none of the rest of this shit ever been classified as anything other than tribal land. But because you don't know it, you going along to get along without questioning the status quo. Chief Peacock in the house. I've been getting knocks from chiefs all over the land, giving me receipts and collecting my receipts and collecting my receipts to verify who I am. And already did the verification. So now that they know who we is and who we dealing with let's talk about the feathers let's talk about the feathers see a long time ago when this was the atlan we lived in harmony there was a giant raptor big ass bird and the birds feathers was so pretty they was fluorescent like and they glittered in the sun and so they was huge feathers like um, they was like ostrich feathers. The, they used to, the women used to get together and make a headdress for the chief to make a headdress for the chief to be able to be seen in the distance on top of Thoth's Pyramid in Mexico. So when he's standing up there from a distance, he looked like a giant fucking bird. Now, under the suit behind him is his personal security and his military force, and they all under the same wing plume dress. 
that the women made for the highest chief on the land. And it was so huge that, that it would wrap around the pyramid. And then that's when they knew that Quetzalcoatl was home because they had this ritual that they would do with these giant feathers of this now extinct bird. And as the sun make his journey across the sky, they dancing. They doing what we call today stomping the yard. A feet make a thunder sound. It causes all of those on the west coast that we call crips. It causes all of those on the west coast that we call crips to cricket walk. And they used to have uh, like coconut bottom shoes that when they did the sea walk, it used to clack, clack, clack louder than the stomp. But, but it was a sharper sound, right? So this would echo. When the echo hit the sky, it would trigger a buildup of electromagnetic energy and shoot a lightning bolt. And the intensity of this ritual would go on all day. And the same energy would be harnessed when the crimson sky roll in for those who can't keep up with the meteorological events. The South is up. So when Nibiru, when they say Nibiru would be going under the earth, Nibiru's tail right now is coming over the earth. Nibiru is on the far side of the sun about to be seen in, in broad open fucking daylight because it's getting closer and it's moving from the sun's ability to block its presence. And then you're going to see it sitting right off from the sun. And this shit is a wrap. Big Mama Home. You can tell your Scottish right, York right. You can tell your um, Mr. Your Order, the Masonic Lodges. You can tell your, your uh, ancient and Arabic order of the Mystic Shrine. Tell all the motherfuckers, your Scottish right, York right, red rose, white rose, this shit over with. We know who the fuck we is. Y'all lost. Hiram Rays, master of masters, a self-raised master on deck. Y'all not gonna never beat us at the game that we created. S stupid motherfuckers. So, um, um, you let them play their motherfucking hand until they trapped in the corner. Now they scream like mice trapped in the corner. Now they scream like mice trapped in the corner. This is Mayday. This shit a wrap. They finna storm the motherfucking doors on these motherfuckers if some shit ain't moving soon. Now, um, it's time for the people to start seeing this shit play out. Now they slow rolling it with the Biden, with the uh, Hunter Biden laptop, but they done already made a link to the Podesta, which is gonna bring up Hillary and the Podesta files. Because if this shit ain't done by the time them red skies roll in, they in some helly trouble they don't want. So, um, all the chiefs on the land waiting on us to be aware of who we are. Once just awareness is sufficient to link with the chiefs, we are uh, uh, all of us on the same mindset. We know we ain't came on no motherfucking ships. We always been here. We've been here so long. We was here before here was here because we built this shit. We organic to the land, spring forth out this bitch like trees, like motherfucking grass through the cracks of the concrete. Like motherfucking grass through the cracks of the concrete. We gonna always get it from the dirt because we know how to maneuver on this land over here. So no matter what you put in the streets to try to hold us down, we still gonna use everything, every tool of oppression as a come up. Because we can work with scraps. Because we can work with scraps, motherfuckers. You forgot about chitlins? You forgot about that shit? You know how to work with the scraps. We know how to cook neck bones and shit. We know how to do, we live off the scraps. We don't need the center cut. We sure like to have it, but we don't need that shit. So, all of those people who thought that they knew who they was dealing with, that fuck right, hey shit. Watch what you got coming. All these cross out artists gonna, you got coming. Right? And all these cross out artists gonna cross their own out trying to escape the wrath that's coming.
in all these cross out artists gonna cross their own out trying to escape the wrath that's coming for their ass they threw rocks at glass houses and they ain't even got a house so now somebody throwing rocks back ain't nowhere to run nowhere to hide they wide open in the field they came over here filled our head with all this holy roller bullshit because if you use and weaponize the nature of the people as a spiritual people Religion is a pseudo-spiritual practice that will give the, them the impression that they practice in their spirituality. Never knowing that they're using the religion to keep you from practicing your own shit so that they can continue to use your shit against you. So they turned everything that we was doing around on us and told us it was evil and of the devil. And they doing everything that we used to do to us in secret. Why are they telling us this shit? Why they telling us this shit? And we falling for it. I'm not falling for it. So, when they came in, we fought. All the way till the ceasefire. Them saying that we crashed their ship. Our landmass crashed into their ship. And that's what gave them the crime scene 10 square miles while we settled the beef while we in galactic court. Because if our landmass can crash into their ship, then they right. But if our claim is right, and our landmass was here while their ship was on the go and they crashed into us, we win. So their ship was called the Plymouth. Today they call it the Mayflower. Crash ship. So because of that, they had to keep a ship in the bay at all times, and it could only leave, and it could only leave at the close of the fiscal year to deliver batch roll birth certificates back to Europe. Who the fuck over there? The London involvement. Because all of the bankers was, they really was uh, situated in Switzerland. They look like this, but they Swiss. But they Swiss. Until they go and tell you they Ashkenazi. So, all these Jews is making us, we supplying the wealth of the world off of our labor, off of our backs, while they got us as an occupied territory to settle a dispute. If we don't wake up to the fact that they already surrendered, that's what the um, Indigenous Rights Act of 2017, the United States Congress passed, it tell you in there, all Indian land, if the government collapse, hence are the caretakers of the land, the native tribes, to restore balance to the land. So what do we do? When we won, we had to stake a totem pole in Washington, D.C. to show the tribes on the land that we got our shit back. We took over the 10 square miles that was the crash site because we took over their ship. <clears throat> and so once that happened, we was able to seize the Admiralty flag and stake the flag with no friends. That's called restoring the law of the land and removing the Admiralty jurisdiction. This is what they was using to issue rants of war called warrants in order to go to war with us one individual at a time. Now, why would a whole nation go to war at, with one individual? Because in our sovereign capacity, it take a whole nation to subdue us, and we can't never join forces because we are always used to fighting on our own. Well, the Chiefs got wind to how they was moving. See, no, see, Noble Jali had to go and find out what these motherfuckers was doing to us in secret. And then he had to put that shit in the public domain. And then he had to put that shit in the public domain. So they murdered him for it. But not before he told Elijah what he needed to know. Not before he made that meeting with Marcus Garvey and they understood what the problem was clearly. The reason why Garvey taught Pan-Africanism because Africans going to tell you when you studying with real Africans, nigga, you was already there. Yes, nigga, you was already there. But they got the ones that come over here to exploit us that play along with what we call white man lies. Thick, thick face, black heart. Black face, white mask. So we study 
Pan-Africanism and we understand that they're doing the same thing over there to them that they're doing over to us over here in the efforts of colonization, meaning we have a common enemy. The meeting of indigenous peoples took place under Sukarno. Did we all come to the final motherfucking death blow of how to put these motherfuckers off the land? So now we got it all figured out. It's not a secret no more. We know who they is, what they did, how they done it. And then when we figured out who they was, we monitored them every step of the way and let them continue thinking it was business as usual. After I done told these stupid motherfuckers this is not business as usual. After I done told these stupid motherfuckers this is not business as usual. This is the interruption. So all the chiefs on the land now where? We looking to see Larry. Check that motherfucking bullshit fake ass news off and put the EBS on so the people can hear what's really going on on the land. Flush Trump out. Make that motherfucker earn his motherfucking key. Flush Trump out. Make that motherfucker earn his motherfucking key. He know what he's supposed to be doing. Stop dragging y'all feet. Fair, fair kind. Crack the motherfucking whip on their back like they did us. They knew who they was murdering when they was murdering us. They knew who they was murdering when they was murdering us, cheating in the game. Well, Johnny come lately, then kicked all their ass in the brain-banging game that the chief told him to play. Tell him to bow down and bow the fuck out. It's a wrap. Take this shit home. Final scene, close production, whatever the fuck. Exit stage left and right. And exit stage center, stage top and stage bottom. Stage top and stage bottom. Just get this shit the fuck over with. The, pe the people tired and I'm tired too. We need to hear from the chief. We need to know who, wh what's going on on the land. Look. They sell the blood of their own people for a few pieces of silver. But it's only one thing. They have no remorse because they ain't us and we ain't them. Because we don't sell each other out, right? And the ones of us that do, they can kiss ass. They can go with the ones who they sold out to. That way we get all the sellouts out anyway. So, I ain't gonna drag this on. I'm gonna let some people come in and uh, talk about what's going on on the land. I'm Jabal. I live in Seattle. I'm, I'm originally from New Orleans and stuff. You heard me? Jump City, you know. You know what time it is. I yeah. Shake, I shake. You told us the people was gonna go crazy in New Orleans for the martyr, but you know we act the fool, you did. Um, they can't take that from us. You you put that science on them, you did. Yeah, they tried to take it from New Orleans before it didn't go too well. Man, we worldwide, you know this thing. Like we was doing all the festivals all over the you know the states and everything. That's what I was just talking about in Mexico, where the uh, the Great Thunderbird ceremony was. Uh, that was just Mardi Gras down there. It was still Mardi Gras. We put we we doing the stomp the yard. Yeah, got a hundred thousand niggas crip walking on one side and a hundred thousand be walking on the other side, activating the energy and the elements. Yeah. Yes, sir. Man, you we put, got the system. You put the shaking they rump shakers, shake. making the earth element move. Yeah, yeah, they be shaking their tail feather. You you be putting the knowledge in in us you be awakening us i'm telling you y'all gonna remember before it's over with fucking with me because i'm gonna tell the whole story well, piece man. by piece until y'all can put it together how you feel about wag 100 got unreleased tapes of larry hoover you heard about that yeah and they wanted to use them to do a documentary oh wag 100 talking from the land yeah. so he's talking about he's talking about something that's going on in order to tell the other chiefs something else that's going on behind the scenes. He's first he gotta agitate him. Yeah. Cause that's his that's his that's his color. That red the red agitators. They make you get on your toes and check your game. Once you on your toes, now you can crip walk. You can't crip walk but flat footed. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So so you need that agitation from the red in order to make the blue move. So the bump to the blue was Big U, but Big U was the OG who made sure Nipsey didn't get killed for real. But we don't know how to read the land. I know it was some funny shit, but it is, you gotta master what you know. You gotta keep in mind 
tape, you gotta have your dodge tape processed in the 3D. You gotta go way behind 3D. Yeah, well, your mind is a god mind. You can see from the ninth dimension down from the 3D. But that is spooky. But that is spooky. It, it requires you to have a certain amount of fearlessness because you can't be too attached to the physical realm. You can't let the affairs of men subjugate you into submission or you'll never see from your God man. Or you'll never see from your God man. And that's why I say you can't take sides in the shit they talking because nine out of 10, they telling you a lie. So the dog matter and the dog energy, you dig? You gotta keep it, you know, moving. My little altar and everything. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. the God, you know about Marie Lebu, the goddess? She came way back in different styles and flavors. Medusa, Lucifer. She came back in different stuff. They try to make her attain her image and stuff. That's the symbol for the entire matriarchy. They, they tried to subjugate the whole matriarchy. That's what he was talking about when he, he said they tried to snuff out any traces of the culture. And they love the terms black and Negro for references to us because it keeps us subjugated. And they aware of this. So they using that as a tool against us. And now we got to fight on whether we was more than not knowing good goddamn well what no more is in the Atlanta. We was here before all that shit. And they had to backdate the history in order to tell it how they needed to steer the narrative. But if you don't know what Noble Drew Ali did, then you can't even get the messages that he put in the literature to tell you who the enemy was and to show you how to find the enemy's trap in, in your own paperwork. Yes, sir. Right? He telling you everything. That's why he said, look, he said, I can count the amount of moors that's going to make it on one hand and still have fingers left. That's less than five motherfuckers. I see somebody say, you're important to show your altar. Look, I'm going to show it because it's like Big Bro said, you got to have receipts. So I'm going to show pieces of it, but I ain't going to get the science online what I'm doing, but it is what it is. Look, that came from them telling us not to share the information. Telling us not to share the information. They was telling us all our shit was evil. Yes. In order to hold on to our shit, we got to keep a veil of secrecy over it and still do it. Can't nobody do nothing with your altar. Can't nobody do nothing with your altar but you. Yes, sir. Because that's your link to your ancestral lands. All they can do is know what your altar look like, but they can't alter what you do at the altar. You could, it's not about so much as showing it. It was a, at a time when we couldn't show it. Without causing us to suffer the wrath of the enemy. My father called him the black hand. That was the black hand that hung from under the KKK outfit that led the pale skinned armies of KKK members. It worked for them. The black hand got the, brought the same Spanish dress for the Easter festival. It's it's galactic chess. It's it's galactic chess. Just the beastie hordes on horseback. Hey, for real. <laughs> hey, look, everything happens for a reason. It's a science to the madness. The uh, the pyramid of Merton and Lucifer right here. But people don't understand it's a science to everything. It came from the universe. Mother, mama. Yeah, great mama well, look, just when told you me and I got it tatted, it just was I was reading books and my mind just and just some told me just to tat it on. Man. Okay, so when remember earlier, I say when you in your guide mind, you can see from the ninth dimension down. As you move up, you hear sounds. The sounds will translate according to your understanding. In this case, it's giving you your name. <clears throat> then you put it all together. It's different when you name yourself. Now, because you name yourself, you know what the name means. You know what your duties are. Your life purpose unfolds in the name. It's not the messages. It's what you take out the message. No matter where it comes from, just take, you know, certain stuff and put it in your mind and put it in your dogs and 
and progress it and live through it. Yep. Because once you can see from another person's perspective, you can avoid their mistakes because you you know what not to make. I mean, them documents, papers and shit telling you what you're right it's and a, all that it's shit a, is. It's a paper trap. That's not how we did it. And when we started writing it down, it was that Big Mama house in the family book. Mm. Say the Big Mama energy is coming right, it's, it's here. From like, oh, the, yeah. like Soul Food, Big Mama used to run the whole thing in a family tree yeah. to put us all together and one, and we unite as one. Cut all that bullshit, we, can, we don't do that at Big Mama house. It's called disrespectful. So we all got to put our egos to the side and then Big Mama going to tell us what to do. I see people copy you, Mama Bear and all that, but I know what it, you, you're the first one to say Big Mama because it's, it's she the generator of us all. Uh, Mama Bear got a different meaning. Yeah. Okay. The Bear Clan is a whole tribe. Oh, all right. And they got branches of the tribe got Mama Bears all over the land. Those are at the top rank of the 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 earth queens on this land and they got that name because in their clan they will fuck you up about their babies just like a mama bear they will fuck you up about their babies just like a mama bear they fight harder than a grown ass man about their babies they're gonna do whatever it takes to protect the babies first the true matriarch She'll throw herself in front of her between the babies and a machine gun. Um, the they they got high rank on the land. You've been um, you've been awoke for about what twenty years? Not you know woke from because I come from a Christian family and I used to be going crazy. You talk about God, Jesus, and then. Was happened to me through time and trials and tribulations that woke me up and the belief was ain't no heaven hell that shit all make believe really no devil god it's frequencies and you know your process of how you put your mental together and move forward in life so all of those things was to give you a replacement for spirituality that gave you religion because the purpose of religion is to weaponize against the spiritual people so that they can control how they move. The Catholic Church was the first religion. The Islam was written by Catholic priests to deceive the Arabs into thinking that they had a prophet that taught that shit that's in the Quran. But they hear all of their um, traditions and customs by changing names of the divine feminine and shit like that. It's a it's a good honor to be with you, brother. I salute you. Stay positive, focus, big dog. We we with you, a thousand hundred percent, and we will meet. Believe that. Salute. What's going on, big bro? What's going on with you guys? Uh, calling from Texas. In the video that I was watching earlier, you were speaking on how Atlantis didn't sink. It went up in the sky. So, you know, when you read about the Crystal City and Revelations, it's returning to Earth, the Crystal City. The Crystal City was the capital. It was actually storehouse of the wealth of the land. It was designed to fly away in case of a time when we get taken over by a foreign force trying to seize the wealth. When they came looking for the Crystal City, they knew it was it was filled with gold. This is what they was looking for when they came over here. This is when they were going on a murderous rampage in the northern part of South America. They was killing any chief that wouldn't tell them how to find the city of gold. So they was just killing every chief because none of them didn't know where it was at because it flew away, because it flew away. So they cut their way through forests, found old relics, uh, pyramids and um, remnant cities from the old Atlant that was no longer occupied. And they thought that they would find the city of gold. When you go to, uh, look, you look up Cortez and the city of gold. 
the Pirates of the Caribbean was the gold that they took from the reigning chiefs. They hid it on Puerto Rico, where all of the pirates agreed not to rob from each other. Code of Thieves. They don't live by the honor code, but they got a code. When they, that when they sign a contract, and the purpose of the contract is to keep them honest. This is why they got us doing paperwork. This is why they got us doing paperwork. But they also can reverse the paperwork to trick you into a trap. The energy is harvested through the intention. If your intention is to, is to cannibalize the savior and drink his blood, vampires. So now you put the intention to kill God in the universe, in the universe, and eat him. So they use that to deceive the masses. If you don't know where you're being led, you're automatically being led to slaughter. If you don't know who your leadership is, anybody can lead you. All they got to do is look like they're official. But when you know who the leaders is, you can see clearly the imposter because you know your customs and traditions are not matching with who they're telling you the leaders is. Our custom is the most loved, most respected, who do the most benevolent works in the community and with the most other chieftains and with the most other chieftains gets the highest rank. The highest rank matriarch is the matriarch that runs the land. The women are the lawgivers. We enforce that shit. So when they call me to do the work, I have to change the position to put the rightful people in the rightful place so that the shit can run like it's supposed to run. I'll talk to you later, God. And, um, what's going on with you, God? She's she Peacock. From the Delta of Mississippi. You ever see those uh, Caribbean festivals in Brazil that look like the Mardi Gras? Right, right, yeah, I have. So that's what they used to use the feathers for. Remember I was talking earlier in the video about the uh, the extinct bird that used to have those big ass uh, fluorescent feathers? Right. Uh, it was making that. This when you, when you don't have the original, we use the closest thing we can find. Right. We started using ostrich feathers when they imported ostriches and emus. Okay. We started using um, the peacock feathers. So when Mansa Musa came over here, so when Mansa Musa came over here, he would bring um, herds of ostrich and herds of peacock or flocks of peacock with him. Because okay. we, that's our, that's our, that's our all across the land. No matter where you go, we had our chiefs used to use ornate feather dress for ceremonial purposes in the public. Right, right. Where the fuck is they at? Where the fuck is they at? I don't see that shit nowhere but New Orleans. Where the rest of the chiefs? You know what I'm saying? So this is what I'm asking. So now I'm gonna find them, but they ain't where they supposed to be. Somebody didn't move them off the land. They in cages now. And I know why a cage bird sings, says my Angelo. So the Peacock clan came, they were the original um, ones who made the plumed dress for the women, made the plumes for the big chief. Okay. Right? And I'm telling you, that motherfucker was huge. It wrap around the whole fucking pyramid. They, and that's the, that's the, the great class of Kodo, the great Thunderbird ceremony. Okay. What I'm saying, it just came to me, bro. Because y'all reading the energy, y'all know that it's the return of the Thunderbird. Thoth is back. And all the imposters on the land gonna be fucking revealed. And he need his chiefs put in a position. Y'all already know this. All the chiefs reaching out. We, they know who the fuck, they know what the fuck going on. They know this is the coup de gras. This, we, they know who the fuck, they know what the fuck going on. They know this is the coup de gras. This is the big motherfucking hurrah. Yeah, because they didn't call the old man down here from his rest and he ain't happy. Right, right. He don't want to be involved in this human shit and everybody trying to put him in human shit. See, right. put the chiefs where they go, put the matriarchs where they go so I can go by my business and make the shit run like it's supposed to run. But too many chiefs is knocking for me to come fix this shit. I can't ignore that shit. Here I am fixing it. 
Big Mama, Big Mama got to put you where she needs you to secure the land. She might need you to be up there to oversee some shit. So the regular people don't know how to read who the Chiefs is, but we know who the fuck we be. Right, right. Better go listen to DMX. Right. They don't know who we be, but we know each other. Right, right. So it's just like the war dance in the in the in the music industry. Mm -hmm. Tell the story. Mm -hmm. Biggie was sitting on. He was sleeping at the gate at the East Gate. At the enemy pass, and the enemy got to the west gate and sacked the motherfucking prince of the west gate. Right. What happened? Tupac was talking all that shit about Biggie. Biggie ain't say nothing. Why he ain't say nothing? Cause Biggie ain't say nothing. Why he ain't say nothing? Cause he understood he had to be the whooping post. Right. right? Who else tell the same story? Chief Crazy Horse. Big baby Jesus. Baby Jesus. Biggie Smalls. He telling me Biggie fell asleep at the gate. He got Osiris in the beginning and he know I know that Jesus is ISIS. He was running a decoy. Cause Bush and them niggas is trying to kill me. Anything happened to me, it ain't me, it's Bush and them niggas. They trying to kill me, the CIA trying to kill me. Why in the fuck is he saying that? Trying to kill me, why in the fuck is he saying that? He telling the truth though, but what do, only the chiefs know what he's telling us, right. right? Now he got them thinking because they expecting the one that's supposed to figure this shit out to be Chief Crazy Horse. It wasn't Chief Crazy Horse. Chief Crazy Horse was running the decoy and they fell for it. But then it was a group of chiefs and the chief alliance on the Northeast, a five tribe clan clique off the Shinnecock nations in order to put it together, they had to form a hive. The, in order to put it together, they had to form a hive. The Wu-Tang Clan, Killer Bees, nigga. So the Killer Bees is operating on behalf of Big Mama, black and gold. Right. That's what. That's the gold and the coal. That's the wealth of the land. Yeah. He's protected on the left hand by the Red Lodge and on the right hand by the Blue Lodge. Right. The Blue Lodge is daddy kids, Red Lodge is the mama kids. But when they're trying to hide one, they'll put a red one in the blue lodge or a blue one in the red lodge. Okay. In order to be raised by the opposite parents so that that there can't be this motherfucker right here. Right? right? All of the chiefs got a job. Prince have to teach the art and science of respect. Right. right. Because he learned respect at an early age. J. Prince have to teach the art and science of respect. Because he learned respect at an early age cash in on it and then gain more respect in return in other words his currency came in the form of respect right. now he got to teach us right. what's the name of his book the art and science of respect big me's job is to teach these young brothers how to not let the money go to their fucking head and how to not let the money go to their fucking head and they took him off the land before he can go legitimate and teach them how to stay out the streets, they got to move him off the land now. He didn't figure out their game. Big 50 boy. That's one of mine. That's a home team boy right there. I'm going to speak up for him. Easy. We ain't following this motherfucker y'all putting in the White House. Our president, like us, he black. What them boys out of Atlanta say? Black and yellow, black and yellow. They're on the heels of them killer bees. They telling you, we swarming and tribing up everywhere. You don't see it, but it's happening in real time. They telling the story. They don't see it, but it's happening in real time. They telling the story. In come the mumble rappers. Louis Little Wayne. Why did he start mumbling? He can't say what the fuck you want to say. It's economics involved and the enemy is breathing down his motherfucking neck so he created the whole fuck he made the whole fucking genre pop with his creative ability right. that means that no matter what you motherfuckers doing y'all can't stop me first chance he got he got out went to go do business where he felt like he was more honored and respected young money records in association with rap -a -Lot records and jay prince right? right so all of the chiefs talking across the land where they come from where Drake come from? From the North, the Dragon Star, D D Draco Star, right? Right. And he went to the South. 
check the bottom of your map and see where Houston at. It's on the borderline of hard times. And he went to the south. Check the bottom of your map and see where Houston at. It's on the borderline of hard times. Right? Because your ghetto ain't no harder than mine, motherfucker. I know what's going on on the land. We telling the story. Period. James Brown, chief. Say, I'm going to teach every one of these boys I can how to handle this music contract. You said they're going to kill me for it. And I'm going to be broke when it's over. You can go look him up. That means he put everything on the line to teach these youngsters how to navigate that motherfucking music industry and get your just reward. The only one. Ray done it too with his blind ass. Ray done it too with his blind ass. <laughs> Beat him at their own game. Yeah. They killed Sam Cooke for it. By the time Jackie Wilson figured it out and he started putting his daughters up on game, they murdered him. Talking about he had, uh, he had a stroke. They murdered him. Murdered him. We be believing everything these motherfuckers tell us. They killing us. But we don't know who we be. Because we trying to worship in the name of Jesus, Allah, and Abraham. That shit don't got nothing to do with us. If you if you don't know how to read it, leave that shit in the motherfucking church. The, the preacher don't know that he lying to you. He believe he telling you the truth. Most of the time, some of them motherfuckers know. Most of the time. But some of them motherfuckers know. T.D. Jakes know, cause he one of the chiefs. But he playing, he 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 playing along with their game. It's time to stop playing. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for doing the work that you're doing. I'm blessed. I just want to just really quick, because I know people want to get in with their questions and everything. Just want to just say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for doing the work that you're doing. Just exposing so much information on our lives and to our community. You know, we, we are tribe of sisters and brothers out here that's really, you know, you've given us assignments and... I have to say we finishing a lot of those and I'm really, really blessed with the fact that I see my people jumping on right now. So we, we over here working with our birthing center. So we really working super hard to get those done. You know, we got a group of uh, midwives and, and just your words of encourage, encouragement really makes our brothers um, kind of when they come into the room with us, we, you know, we got that big mama energy, so we learning, dealing with these egos. So it's just been really, really beneficial to just be able to have those, um, those results. I, we hear a lot of brothers always talking about what sisters not doing, and we just at that point where here with our tribe. We well, uh, y'all used to get murdered for trying to restore the balance in the energy field. Now y'all can do this shit yeah. without getting murdered. And now the only way you are gonna seize back the power is to start doing y'all shit. It's y'all shit. First right to the earth rights. Exactly. Especially when you hit that big mama energy, mm -hmm. right? And the, the respect with going to big mama house, you could just feel the respect in the atmosphere. It just puts you in line. You can't get out of line. Not at well, all. Except for that one, except for that one uncle. He got to be the example to know what happened when you get out of line at Big Mama House. And he's going to come to Big Mama House disrespectful and one of the other uncles mm -hmm. going to beat his ass like we do at every family gathering. Yes. And then he's going to be sitting there with his thumb in his mouth like he ain't done nothing wrong. Mm -hmm. That's so that the younger ones will know when you come to Big Mama House, you're going to be respectful or this is what happened when you get out of line. Yeah. Or this is what happened when you get out of line. Yeah. One of your own going to put you in your place. Yeah. They call it no police over here. It's family business. The police ain't got no business in family business when the whole family is home. 